So I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching a bit of this and a bit of that and I maybe got recommended my first arm wrestling video about a year ago when it popped up in my recommended video feed. Now I'd seen some home arm wrestling videos about before but never official arm wrestling events. The video I got recommended was a World Arm Wrestling League match and I have to say it quickly piqued my interest and truly opened my eyes to how pivotal technique is in the sport of arm wrestling. Since that first video I've kept my eyes on the sport and I've since watched most of the arm wrestling videos that have appeared in my recommended and it looks like I'm not alone. The sport seems to be really being pushed by the YouTube algorithm and rightfully so. The views on these videos have grown exponentially and as a result the sport is far more recognised. But unfortunately, I sense a pitfall in arm wrestling's rise to ascension. Not too long ago, a match took place between the infamous Devin Larratt, probably the most famous arm wrestler of our era, and a man named Michael Todd. Now I'd seen Michael Todd pull before, but he employed a new technique in this match that I was unfamiliar with, known as the King's Move. This move involves lowering the body considerably and strengthening the arm to make it difficult for the opponent to pin you. It also seems that this move allows you to wear out your opponent to the point where eventually you can transition to a strong position to finish. As a result of using this technique, Michael won the match and has hence been dubbed Michael Under the Table Todd by the internet. I've got to say that I'm really starting to dislike this move, especially considering how it seems to be being abused by certain people, namely Mr. Todd. The amount of elbow fouls I've seen him do and get away with as a result of using this technique is astonishing. An elbow foul, as you can imagine, occurs when someone takes their elbow off of a pad. Despite this move technically being legal, many consider it to make a mockery of the sport and ultimately, I think it sets a bad example for the sport of arm wrestling, which may deter potential new fans. You know, it, it kind of looks like they're ready to play footsie under the table or something. Not a good look. It's easy to simply shun the move, but I'm reminded by how many people are uninformed when it comes to the sport of arm wrestling, being unaware even that you can shift your body weight about to give you added leverage. So I decided to dig a little deeper into the world of the King's Move. Here's what I learned. The King's Move is indeed entirely legal if executed properly, but the shoulder must not dip below parallel relative to the table. The problem here is that many people who use this technique regularly exceed this limit with no repercussions from the referees. Some keep below the table, whilst others appear to momentarily dip below the table for added advantage, with the referees being oblivious or reluctant to call a foul. Furthermore, after watching John Prezink's video, A Legend of the Sport, he explains how there seems to be a loophole in the sport which the King's move takes advantage of. With your arm extended, the elbow still technically touching the pad, but this gives unfair leverage, making being pinned very unlikely. It seems this rule was originally intended for people in positions of offence, but perhaps rule makers did not account that it could also be used in positions of defence. Another interesting fact is that due to many years of persistent injuries, many arm wrestlers have accumulated so much scar tissue in their elbows that they cannot physically straighten their arms. It's nuts! This again plays into the King's move, making it an even more formidable technique. Now I don't want to bash on the move too much as it undoubtedly takes skill and clearly Michael Todd has perfected it. But obviously, we don't want this shit show happening too often. I'd recommend for those of you who are interested to not just take my word for it, but go and do a little bit of research for yourself. Devon Larratt recently made an interesting video explaining his take on the move, and he made some very valid points, such as how it enables pullers to extend their career who would usually have retired due to losing their initial power, and how the King's move is a bold risky technique as it puts your arm in a vulnerable position, making it prone to breaking. And if you're willing to risk an arm break to win, you truly are the king. And that's the ideology that gave the move its name. I've got to say, that's a pretty cool way of thinking about it. In fact, after losing to Michael, Devon has since added the king's move to his arsenal, and it seems to be his current go-to technique. He's even made some jokes about the match recently. Devon's quite the character. So what do you guys think? Is the move sound? Should they adopt the rules slightly? I hope at the very least you found the video entertaining and have learned a little bit about the world of arm wrestling. It sure is awesome. If you found this video interesting, why not subscribe? I'll be posting more informative videos like this soon and a whole bunch of other stuff and you don't want to miss out. Catch you in the next one guys.